Hello, and welcome to Spa. We are in the USF 2000, which they still say right here, even though I think they're not supposed to do that now. <laughs> I don't know, I could be wrong. I think they're uh, supposed to be getting rid of... I don't think they're supposed to be using those terms anymore, but you can still see hints of it. Like, I think in the setups, too, or something, you can see it. I don't know. But, uh... <laughs> I'm going to call it USF 2000. They can come after me. They can send the FBI to the door. <laughs> For those that don't know, um, Indy ended its, like, IndyCar ended its deal with iRacing or something like that. And so they can no longer have, like, officially IndyCar approved events. Like, the Indianapolis 500 on iRacing is no more. And you can't call them indie cars anymore. They're open wheel oval cars. <laughs> and uh, if I, I guess, if I'm not mistaken, the USF 2000 is part of the like la the indie car umbrella. I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm not very knowledgeable about this part of racing, but um, from what I understand, USF 2000 kind of goes along with that. And so, technically not supposed to be called the USF 2000 anymore. I got, oh my god, what is going on? Why did I just spin? That didn't happen in practice at all. I don't have time to reset, though. So I gotta get two laps done here at Spa. Two minute long laps. In fact, I just straight up don't think we're gonna be able to do that. I don't think we're gonna be able to do two laps. I think we're gonna get one lap. But uh, hopefully I don't do that again. I'm assuming that's just a cold tire thing that I hadn't experienced yet. But uh, excited to give this a uh, give this a try. This car's a lot of fun to drive, no matter what you call it. Uh, I've never been here at Spa with it before. But hopefully, it should be uh, a good time. I'm being a little extra careful now, after spitting myself out. I was just getting the tires warmed up, that's all. So in the uh, open practice beforehand here, which uh, usually doesn't mean much in road racing because it seems like the fastest road guys can just show up with no practice and then beat your lap time by three seconds. But in the open practice, I was number two, so I was feeling pretty good about that pace. Um, the only problem was the guy that was number one was like a second and a half faster. <laughs> so, uh, I'm not sure exactly what we're gonna be compared to the people here in top split. But you know what, I'll just give it my best, try to keep it clean, stay in the draft, because draft will be huge starting right about here. And all the way up into... You know, that first corner. Um, I'm keeping it in fifth. Up the hill here. Seems to give me the extra RPM I need. And then shifting to sixth. In draft, I probably will shift to sixth faster, but for single run... Single car qualifying here. I think that might be the way to go. Uh, I was wide. I was a little wide there. Now I'm driving like a little pensive because of my experience the first lap. Instead of attacking the corners like I probably should be. Let's not spin out here again. I think I also got used to, in practice... The car that got lighter on fuel by the time I was hitting the laps I did because it feels heavier right now so that might also be happening but that's okay these are my first laps here at spa in this car so I don't expect to be lightning fast right off the rip FB. No, I don't know. That would be too, not to be expected. I don't know. What am I trying to say? I don't know what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to drive and, and talk at the same time. Yeah, drive and race at the same time. 
clearly I can't talk. But hopefully what I can do is get this lap in. Definitely are not going to get the second lap in, so this is going to be our one lap. So i got to make sure I actually make it count. Not really a great breaking zone, breaking marker for this here. And I'm not very good at that corner anyway, so. Alright, what we get? 25.7, my best is 25.4, so that's fine. I think there might be some people that don't even get a lap in because of how quick you had to get out there. Fortunately, I gave myself some off, uh, some incidents, incident points there. Hey, that's actually not so bad. This is the guy that obliterated my time in the open practice. He's got something like 6,000. What? What did I just do? Something like, uh, yeah, 6,100 road eye rating. So I shouldn't be able to keep up with him anyway. I think what I'm going to do is I had my rake bias back pretty far. I'm going to up it a little bit so I don't spin myself out early on, but I shouldn't be able to keep up with this guy anyway. So that's fine. Everyone else is going to try to get their second lap in, probably not realizing they're not going to make it. But I just, I already saw we had like two minutes left and the fastest lap I've ever hit was a 225. So uh, the math does not work out there. I guess I could have gotten more practice. Yeah, maybe, maybe I'm the dumb one. <laughs> I should have been getting some more practice. And that's what everyone else is doing, knowing they're not going to finish the lap. They're playing 5D chess, even though I'm playing 4D chess, you know, just they're a step ahead of me. Oh, well. Looking okay, though. Uh, if we do indeed just get the one lap, because we are P2. Just barely. With number five there. Very close. That's very, very close, considering how long this track is. You would think time's spread out a little bit more, but apparently we're very close on pace to this guy. Just fine. I'm going to be patient during the race. And uh, use his draft if... If I can. Six laps. That's right. They, sh they changed this series to do laps instead of time. I welcome that. That's fine. That's pretty quick. I guess two and a half minute laps. There's a person that beat our time again. So I'm P3 now. Yeah, that's still pretty quick. Of a race. But... Six laps still takes a while. Down to four for now. All right. Only 11 people in here. We had about 20 something people signed up, so I imagine this probably split just one time. We got top split and the bottom split. The car in front lap time is a 225.6. I don't know if I said this, I think I said this already, but uh, first race of the week. So I thought I'd take advantage of this because not always easy to find races for this car. So the 5 showed that he is actually a little bit faster than me. That's fine. Just by 2 tenths, he only gained 2 tenths. And we are P5. So starting basically right in the middle. Alright. Thank goodness we don't have to do an entire pace lap around here. We'd never, uh, we'd never get to the end of it. Still gonna take a while too, I think. And we're not too far away. Just trying to figure out where we're. I forgot this series was a rolling start. The guy directly Everyone behind us, and, um, has, you know, just a good time, huh? Is very nice and polite, but he has also not been in this car for a while, so that does concern me a little bit. Having the guy directly behind me, uh, out of practice with the car, but that's okay. I've never been in practice with this car, probably, you could say. So. Well, at least they're not making us do the entire lap on the start. <laughs> exactly. That's what I was saying. We never, uh, it'd be longer than the race itself. That's what I was thinking. It was going to be longer than the race itself if we had to do the whole pace lap. <laughs> I 
I uh, recently changed my radio so that all teams is on by default after. They make us do the whole lap on Road America, but not here. Six, six, five, five. <laughs> so that way all teams is on so I don't miss anything. Because the last time we did K5 Championship uh, race number three, Follow car number zero. Nick three. said something and, and it was in all teams and I didn't see it. So. I went ahead and went into the configuration files and uh, messed around with it, and uh, now it's uh, unmuted by default, so that's good. I want to be able to hear what everyone's saying. Oh my Jesus. Looks like he was going to ram me. So, control car is the one on the inside in our row right here. I guess there's no inside. I'm on the right side, it's the control car. I'm just starting second gear. I don't need to do anything too loud. Alright, that works. We're clear? We're clear. Guy behind us almost spun it, it looked like. Really there. <laughs> I'm actually impressed with that save, because... Good save, though. Yeah, you don't get fishtailing like that in this car and survive very often. Keeping six, that does seem to be the way to go. Uh, with the draft. We're going to be heading into this corner much faster than I'm used to, so I definitely have to be ready for that. tires so don't uh, do the qualifying thing I did spin out just taking it easy no reason to race myself out of this one by crashing myself or something plenty of time Get things done. Shouldn't have any trouble keeping up with the aerodynamics on our side. Someone's rocketing ahead. I'm assuming that's the 6,000 I rating guy. Yeah. That was going to happen 10 times out of 10. Now, what's this going to look like? Our first time into this very tough corner. We're good. Everyone's doing a great job. Lap one they did, anyway. Alright. We got about a second and a half behind us. I enjoy having a little bit of breathing room. Some movement up there, vying for position. Going real fast right now, compared to usual. guy's getting squirrely. The Castrol car, I think, is what that scheme is. Our livery, I think, is what they call it in road racing.
I got my NASCAR paint scheme ready for that race at Spire. Pass going ahead, keeping my eye on that. So any contact can go wrong very quickly, so I'll make sure I'm ready. I'm feeling pretty good about where I am though, so long as I don't crash this thing, which is not a guarantee, but as long as I don't crash this thing and keep with this group, I've got myself a top five. So that's pretty cool. They, <laughs> they are not content though, they are fighting. Spin. Oh my god, how do you save that? The guy behind us didn't save it. I swear the guy in front of us was at a 90 degree angle a second ago. Not directly in front of us, but the leader of this pack. I could have sworn. Okay, we're getting sideways again. These guys are good at saving this car. I swear, there's no way I'd be able to do that. This thing is so hard to save to me. Pretty much any open wheel car. Very difficult to save and... Uh, They've been doing it. They've been finding out. They, they know the secret, apparently, because they know how to do it. I don't think I even want to pass, because I'm not going to be able to break away from them. Because of draft, so uh, I don't know why I would even bother slowing us all down that way and risking anything. I don't... Maybe that's, I don't know, it just seems smarter to me to just go ahead and ride until later. Hmm, man, this thing's not turning. I guess maybe that's arrow push? Maybe we get some arrow push from these cars in front, making this thing hard to turn. So definitely getting some understeer. Oh, he's getting some understeer. He's understeering right on out there. That might be a slowdown. I know you can get an off track there. I don't know if he was wide enough for some sort of slowdown, though. He has it. Haven't seen him try to get rid of it yet. Probably just an off track. Back into this big braking zone. Tripping over each other a little bit. We're fine though. Half distance. Fuel looks good. Come on, Colton. Push, push, push. We can catch this car. Just done oh my gosh, my computer just glitched or something. I don't know if that came through on the recording, but that was not a good time for that to happen either, because I was right into the corner. Uh, no more of that, please. I've had enough of that. Too wide up the hill, you crazy. Are you out of your gourd? It wasn't a big deal. <laughs> they clearly had it under control. They still could be side by side though. Never mind. The driver in front of us is Prudham. Where's feeling a little more agile? There's not much side by side going on right now. Still plenty of driving to do. 
I don't know if I've ever been bored at a road course. There's just too much to think about all the time. Shifted a little early there because I was pushing wide just a bit. Oops, one extra shift. Don't do that. That's a good way to die. Did not mean to shift a second there. I don't know if I'd be able to keep up with these guys uh, if not for the draft. It's hard to tell. So I definitely have been slowing down for them at certain points on the track. But other times they uh, get some distance on me. You've got two laps to go. Lap two laps to go. to go. You're a second off the pace in sector two. Incident in the chicane. It looks like it's Combs. It's more trouble behind us, I think. We have over 10 seconds back there now. Keep putting the pressure on. Force a mistake. Gap to ahead is now 0.8. Yeah, we're kind of we kind of fell behind a little bit, didn't we? Gain some more back there. Drove that. Okay, though. Got it turned eventually. Some good corners there. Got on the got on the curb a little bit. Don't want to do that too much because this car doesn't like the curb all that all that much. But that was okay there. this time. Last lap. Is he going defensive here? White flag. One more to go. Your lap time was 224.2. Good lap. That's your best in the session. And I just want to follow him right now. We got this huge long straightaway anyway. Though he's like a second back now. Gotta do it. Still there. Stay on the left. Clear. Well done, Colton. Nice move, mate. All right, nailed those corners. I needed to do that too, with him right behind me. want to get some distance. I don't want them to be able to just get right back to me. Now I'm pushing harder than I have all race. Hold your nose. He's still coming back though.
Catching up to the guys ahead a little bit. I really need that draft if possible. If I can get even just a tiny bit of that. Help me keep this spot. Yes, side by side. Slow yourselves down. Oh, the guy behind me's coming though. Car on your left. Stay on the right. Slow car ahead. Go left. Still there. Hold your line. Go left. Clear. Dang it. All right. <laughs> That's fine. I'll drop one to get to. Great drive. That's a podium. All right. There's the ticket flag. Good job. Very good job. Okay, that was quite the finish. We ended up on the podium from that. That's pretty cool. All right. You got a 4X that didn't touch anybody. Well, I only got the 1X there. He must have net coded. I don't want to say good race because that might be insulting to the guys that just wrecked each other. Good win. So I'll give him a good win, I guess. Thanks. It's probably not very fun for him. They let you get away. They were fighting over a position way too soon. Yeah, they sure were. But uh, P3, I'm happy with that. Let's. I just want to see that final corner real quick. Uh, we will look at all the incidents in total. I was wondering if they would do that. And then it really happened. I don't know if I would have had the, the three anyway. Because he definitely braked harder than I was willing to. And here I just had to go wide. That was my first, that was my one incident all race. And I, I really didn't have much of a choice. And then of course uh, he's able to ooh, just take it on the inside. He did actually get very lucky, because even though he must not have hit them on his screen, according to the replay, they did touch tires. In fact, his tire was broken for a second, but uh, the net code gods were nice to him and decided to uh, go ahead and get that P2. So that's fine, though. Uh, I think all three of those guys were faster than me, and they just uh, had that wreck at the end, so... I'll take it. We got the podium. And so we will see what happened to some of the other guys out here. Just a self spin here. Oof. The nine just kind of rolls into the guy ahead and then maybe stabbed the brakes. Or maybe it was just going too fast through there and ended up spinning. Mm, six was overcooking that for sure. And then there was a guy ahead of him. Yeah, I don't think he was making that corner. At the closing speed he had. What's this little loopy area? Never really paid attention to that. Not a very good rejoin, 90 degree angle to the track either, but they figured it out. Uh, that's, uh, I think this is the guy who was saying nice breaks. Thanks, nice breaks. Yeah, I'm assuming that's in reference to that. There may have been some sarcasm in those comments. There's a 7 going off. That sucks. He's the guy that was starting behind us saying he hasn't been in this car in a while. I knew those guys were doomed. Yeah, I was slower than all three of them, I think. So, 
I was uh, just patient. Ended up getting a nice finish out of it. On the inside, he's uh, following way to you. That was the plan. <laughs> so we had... Oh, these that's the same two guys, isn't it? Oh, this is what happened on the last lap, isn't it? Okay, I didn't even see that first part of it. Yeah, so that's interesting here. The number five decided to hold him really tight right there. That's interesting. And then whenever the uh, four was un inevitably unable to slow it down in time with that crazy shallow entry, get into each other, and then, yeah. Yeah, and then maybe a little now, code. They were gonna wreck the whole time though, and then thankfully we're able to get around it though. Kept my eye out. <laughs> well, what is happening there? He's towing him along. He's attached to him. Come on, let's go. That was. Where are these guys from? Because they are definitely not from the same place. We have Iberia and Canada. Yeah, that explains some of the very interesting net good things happening. They still got it going, though, I think. Maybe not this guy. Is he broken completely? Oh my gosh, this poor dude. Yeah, he, he got broken completely and couldn't get going again. So that sucks. I mean, they kind of, you know, wrote their own obituary, but... Still, it sucks for him. But the four is able to get away. And, uh, they had themselves a rough finish. We had a 1x from it, but that'll put us the least number of incidents, which is pretty cool. Although the three should have had 0x, maybe, I guess. After, uh, he did or did not run into those guys. But regardless, I'm very happy with that result. P3. And uh, 1x, and uh, had some good fun. Nice, nice drive around spa. So I hope you enjoyed it as well. And uh, I'll see you next time. I'm headed to Talladega in the Arca car. So, <laughs> uh, you know, see you next time. <laughs>